Hey everyone, Chloe here and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about addressing a very specific and a very damaging and a very disempowering and a very dysfunctional mindset that unsurprisingly a lot of women have when it comes to relationships, more specifically long-term relationships that do not come with the quote unquote happy ending. And I wanted to make this video not only for the cautionary tales that we all can learn from, whether it's Cassie and Diddy or Serena and Common or Rihanna and Ike Turner 3.0, or the women that we all know uh, that have a cautionary tale, but to remind women that they have way more agency than they think when it comes to men and the investment of our presence and our time. And unfortunately, a lot of women hustle backwards and they don't um, understand how to apply the concepts of self-worth and self-value to their relationships. And they get into these relationships or wax sauce uh, situationships or they make themselves way too available without having a plan or an end goal in mind. And because of these self-sacrificial situationships, a lot of women often end up in dead end situations where they become regretful, full of anger and rage and resentment and disappointment because of the investment of wasted time, squandered energy and money that they will never get back. And these women unfortunately have never learned the invaluable skill or the art of knowing how to cut their losses sooner than later. And unfortunately there are so many women who do not know the difference between getting to know someone, uh, knowing where they're staying, uh, knowing where they stand, where they stand in a relationship, and allowing a person to string them along. Particularly with women who get caught up in the dogma and the trap of the 50/50 con and and dust bunny logic. Uh, as a rule, most men, and this will be a very bitter pill for many women to swallow, and many women. Uh, will not want to hear this, but a man usually knows uh, when you're the one in the first six months. And uh, are there exceptions to this rule? Uh, very few, but as a rule, contrary to popular belief, it doesn't take a man a long time to make a decision on what he truly wants. And this is why so many men can string a woman along for years and years and then turn around and marry the next woman in six weeks. Uh, as women, there are so many cautionary tales and discussions to be had on the nature of men, but there also needs to be many discussions and conversations on what we as women allow men to take from us, which is why you need to subscribe to this channel. And a lot of you may get triggered and pretty upset by what I'm about to say because what I'm about to say is a pretty unpopular opinion. But a man does not waste a woman's time. A woman wastes her own time by not having standards, by not putting herself first, by not establishing goals, by not having an end game, by not having a plan, and by not seeing herself or treating herself as the prize. And uh, when standards are missing, from a woman's hypergamous arsenal, uh, whether she's a Cassie or regular degular, uh, that is when a woman tends to lose the most when it comes to romantic relationships. Uh, ladies, when it comes to dealing with men, you have to have uh, you have to have an end game. You have to have a plan, and you have to know what you want and what you're looking for. And this is especially important uh, for my viewers who are over 25 who want to give themselves um, a decent uh, shot, a healthy shot at marriage in a family with a man who has a provider and protector mindset. And let me just address uh, the walking fistfights that come to my channel who are committed to misunderstanding me and who are always uh, looking for a reason to be offended. Yes, I know that not everyone, uh, not every woman, not every uh, person wants to be married and that not every woman wants to be a mother. And to that I say, please understand and continue to understand that you are the exception and not the rule. Uh, women, for the most part, are wired to want security and stability, uh, men they can respect, and someone to care, and someone to grow old with. And I get it, a lot of women subscribe to the narrative and the belief and the thinking, often toxic thinking, uh, that when it comes to commitment from men, or lack thereof, that it's always the quote unquote uh, man's fault, or that all men are doggish, entitled, and selfish, and are out to get you, and are out to use you, and that is partially true. There are many, many men who are more than willing to take and take and take and take. However, and this is a big however, as a rule, a man will only do what you allow. And that is where the value of having boundaries and standards and having an end game come into play. A lot of women are very comfortable 
uh, sadly, with the narrative of projecting a relationship failure and blame onto men, as in the case with Cassie and Diddy or Serena and Common. And I see way, uh, I see way too many women who are comfortable with projecting the idea, uh, blaming Diddy, uh, first of all, and blaming Diddy, uh, first of all. Diddy cannot be compared to your average uh, time-wasting Dusty that doesn't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. Uh, Cassie was a financially compensated, a uh, kept woman on the highest of levels. Cassie is not the average woman who gave her life away for zero dollars and zero cents. But this way of thinking that a man is responsible, completely responsible for wasting a woman's time is a mentality uh, that needs to die because a man cannot take your time or your youth unless you give him the permission to do so. Um, a lot of women are not aware of their power, and a lot of women are not aware of their feminine power, and because they aren't aware of their feminine power, they don't know how to walk away from the table when they don't like what's being served. So by default, uh, many women end up waiting on men, and they, and they end up treating men as if they are the prize, and these women often end up giving years and sometimes even a decade or more to men who are more than willing to take all of what you have and then some, and that includes your time, uh, your best years, lots of free SEX, uh, money, uh, food, your energy, your fertility window, your emotional support, or even uh, the Build-A-Bear energy that a lot of women invest to build a man up. Whatever you give to a man, he will take it without giving it a second thought. And a lot of women uh, just hand themselves over to men and they allow five, seven, nine, uh, and 14 years to pass uh, by with a man without a commitment because they are afraid of, they're afraid of being abandoned and they are so afraid of being alone and they are so afraid of not having a return on their investment. And I have to be forthright and make it plain. This is not a man's fault. Uh, the idea that a man can waste your time is the faulty thinking and the faulty conditioning of a woman's mindset when she doesn't uh, see herself as the prize. And the idea that a woman has zero agency uh, when it comes to men uh, needs to die an immediate death as well because this kind of thinking is quite uh, self-sabotaging and dangerous and very harmful because this kind of thinking and mindset is a convenient distraction for women to give their power away. And I think many women are afraid, they're very fearful uh, to embrace an empowered narrative and mindset for themselves because many, many choices that will benefit you uh, that will benefit you in your life uh, will require accountability. And blame is a very powerful uh, victim mindset and addiction. Uh, just ask the uh, MGTOW and Red Pill community who are inclined to blame, uh, to blame women for everything under the sun. Blame is often an easy way out and blame is a very potent way of avoiding complete responsibility for the actions that we take and do not take when it comes to our lives, and that is the rub. And this is why black women need a new and improved narrative, an empowered narrative on how to value themselves outside of the typical accomplishments that we are used to getting attention for. Uh, getting attention, validation, and rewarded for, uh, like being a Mrs. Independent and being super uh, self-efficient and being super educated and being overly uh, self-reliant. As black women, uh, we know how to get attention and recognition for those things. But many of us with all of our uh, degrees are very uncomfortable um, ironically, with putting ourselves first and using the sweet science of hypergamy to get what we want out of men. And a lot of black women are shamed and clowned and ridiculed by insecure and inadequate and manly women uh, for taking feminine stances that will benefit us and our lives in the long run. And quite frankly, black women need to get to a place of balance uh, within themselves where the pride that they have in their independent um, earning power is just as valuable and just as potent and just as powerful as their femininity and their ability to walk away from men who are not um, who are not the vision of what they want for themselves. So that's all I have to say on this for now. Ladies, never give a man the opportunity to squander your time because the time, uh, because time is the only commodity that no one can ever get back. Ladies, in the game of hypergamy, you do not play with your life and you do not play to, uh, to not lose. You play this game to win. You do not chase, you do not beg, 
You don't pursue, you don't hang around and hold your breath underwater and wait for years and years on end for a commitment until you drown. And you most certainly do not allow a man to waste your time. Uh, Sierra and Cassie are both experiencing uh, their Cinderella happy ending. And yes, it is very inspiring to see uh, their happiness unfold. But also recognize that they are the exception and not the rule because in real life, not celebrity life, waiting on a man to do the right thing and putting uh, your agency in a man's hands, especially a Dusty's hands, can have deadly consequences. And that is why we don't wait on men because the waiting game uh, is where most women end up losing. So stay tuned for more videos like this to come and I will catch up with you in the next one.